and I welcome all of you at Emerald TV, our brand new show, eMusic. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a brilliant artist, a fantastic guitarist, an amazing personality, Aziz Ibrahim. <laughs> nice to meet you. How you doing, you right? I'm good, thanks. Um, how's your journey been all the way from Manchester to London? Well, I came to London and caught a cold. Oh, so you think, are you saying there's no, it's no cold in Manchester? So I got away to go home. No, it is, but the air's cleaner. Okay. <laughs> Your nose isn't black by the time you get home after work. True. Okay, so please tell me, um, first of all, how was your dad's reaction, being a Pakistani origin, on your music, playing guitar and... Oh, you can guess. I mean... I love actually my dad, you know, passed away six years ago, but, uh, you know, the usual uh, insults. <laughs> and, um, you know, get a proper job. That's all he ever said to me. But he supported me, you know, he's a loving father. My mother too. All they ever did was support me. So, yeah, it was, it's not a problem. Well, you've been brought up on South Asian music. Do you think that it has made any effect on your mu music or any influence on your music? Um, I don't know about just South Asian music. I've been brought up with lots of different kinds of music. Um, I mean, at home it was what was on TV that my mum and dad were watching, you know, Bollywood films, all, especially older ones, Black and White, Nulja, soundtracks, uh, Lata, Rafi, uh, you know, Johnny Walker doing whatever he was doing to these, you know, Ghazal basically and things like that, and Nusrat. Um, and it was only until I met other musicians that I started to listen to various forms, you know, maybe it was Carnotic or Hindustani or whatever you want to label it as. But at the same time, you know, I was born here in the UK and I listened to dance, reggae, soul, hip hop, funk, jazz, metal, uh, you name it, I listened to it. Korean, Vietnamese, Taiwanese, and it's all relevant to me. So, other than your own music, what yeah. sort of or what type of music do you like to listen to? I listen to all manner, whether it's from you know South Asia or Africa or South America, anywhere where there's an instrument, you know that. Um, my favourite. My, my favourite. I, I don't have a. Fa well, my favourite is rock. Is <laughs> <laughs> rock music, you know. I grew up on people like uh, T Rex, Mark Bolan, um, Mick Ronson um, from the Spies from Mars, and. Good old-fashioned rock and roll is where I came from, but I love exploring the instrument because you got to find an identity for yourself. This is, world is a, a sea of you know great musicians and players, and they're all aspiring to be, you know, their heroes. Whether it's Jimi Hendrix or whoever it might be, and I, I you just need to find an identity. So I'd listen to, you know, like I listen to sitar, and I kind of go, ooh, I make those sitar sounds. You know, it was just kind of... Amazing. I'd, I'd steal ideas, I'd like <laughs> Kotob or um, Santur, I'd get these ideas for like... Uh... You know, it's just the way that they play, and no matter what the music, even other instruments, uh, Western instruments like bass guitar, I steal ideas from... Wow. You know, it's... They all have something to give, and, you, and they kind of merge. That's what happens with a, an artist. You merge these ideas as you mature as a player, and the bands you're in, you have some kind of context where it has application to a song. For me, it's songs. Because I grew up on you know, Jimmy Page and Jeff Beck, and they were, they were songwriters, and they, they wrote for the song, which is more important to me than being a, a musician for other musicians who were going, wow, look at his chops. <laughs> you know, which is that's like gymnastics for me, or um, you know, like some kind of race. But music isn't that. It's something that touches people's soul that they remember. In growing up at uni or college, or my favourite song because I was in love at the time, or I was sad, or some something happened. You know that. And you, that's how you relate to music. I think best times of your life, the worst times, whatever. What would you tell the youngsters who are interested in music industry? What future awaits for them? Time to get a proper job. <laughs> <laughs> get music. It's too hard. It's a hard. I, I would say that. I'd say you know that, that it's not an easy route, especially if you're you know um, an Asian you know in music playing wanting to play mainstream music. It's not easy. It's just been a constant fight and struggle for. 
shall we say, an equality, um, just being treated the same, having the same publicity or having, you know, being recognised in the same way to have your picture alongside other people. It's like uh, last year, you know, I, I refused a visa and everybody else was given a visa for a, a, a world tour that I was doing and the American leg of it, I was refused one. Well, so you have worked with various artists, whether to is, um, I would say, JBK, The Christians, Yukiros, Akashi, Del Basing, he's a, he's a fantastic dub, tabla player. So, I mean, well, how can you um, uh, get along with such an array with various artists? How, how has it been for you? The common factor is music at the end of the day, you know. Um, it's not the person, it's more so the music um, that you create, you know, with different people. They all have something different to give. Um, and it's your chemistry, you know, it's like knowing you don't always behave the same way with different people and the chemistry between different musicians brings out all, all manner of music out of me. Playing with um, Del Bir, for instance, you know, it's changed me because double players are beautiful mathematicians, you know, they play um, any time cycle, they understand music in, you know, in that terms of mathematics and they can just, it's like I, I would write to what he would play and I wouldn't know that to say he's playing in uh, Rupaktal, which is a seven beat cycle, I think. <laughs> and I, but I would play musically to him and I'd play something like... Uh, Not, um, that's just music to me, but any tabla player that was counting it, uh, you know, he might be counting it, you know, however they work it out, but are improvising through that. But to me, I'm writing a song which has got the power of, say, rock or something, but it is in a, a sick time signature that's not boom, 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 four, four, you know constant but it doesn't matter but it's not about impressing somebody it's about writing a song to something that another musician how he perceives music and then I could work with somebody completely different um, you know like you mentioned JBK or it may be just conventional musicians who are just great players in their own rights or songwriters um, they bring out something different to me is the answer really it keeps me alive you know the diversity of it keeps me alive okay and the bonus question I would say um, if it is a cricket match between Pakistan and England who would you support uh, Pakistan Okay, well done, thank you very much. And I would also like to tell the, tell my viewers that Aziz has gifted me his old album. And um, we That's have right. got... Thank I you, bought it. Thank you so much. <laughs> he's, he's gifted it to me. Um, thank you so much. And I've got something very small for you from Emerald TV team. Um, I hope you like it. Oh, wow. As long as it's not um, a ham sandwich, I'm sure uh, I like no, it. No, it's not. <laughs> And um, Aziz would like to also uh, give out his album to one of the winners. All you have to do is answer this question. What's the name of his latest release? That is the album. And till then, take care and goodbye. Thank you, Aziz. Goodbye.